Hey there, this is Lore, and in this video you're going to learn a super cool way to plan and organize all your Etsy listings using this Notion template. On the main page, you have the option to personalize the banner and use the same one you have on your Etsy shop. If you don't have a banner yet or want to give your shop a little makeover, I will include the link to some super easy to use Canva templates in the description box below. All you have to do is drag and drop your pictures, add the name of your shop, and boom, you are done. And below the banner, you will see three sections for listing ideas, listings in progress, and published listings. To add a new listing, simply click here and the status will automatically show up as an idea to start with. And here, if you click open, you will be taken to a page where you can get into the nitty gritty of your new listing. You can start your planning process from where the idea or inspiration is sparked. For instance, if you are scrolling to Pinterest and stumble upon a style or product that inspires you, you can simply copy the link and paste it under the inspiration toggle. You can even add some pictures that will serve as a reference to help you create your product. All you gotta do is take some screenshots and then add them to the inspo section. And you can easily toggle the inspo section on and off so you don't have to look at it all the time. This way you can access it only when you need it. And whenever you're ready to take action on some of your ideas, just change the status and it will automatically move to the next section where you can start working on it. The following section is dedicated to keyword research, where you can start making a list of keywords to use for your listings, tags, and title. But that's not all. It can also help you organize your keywords to see which ones are easier to rank for. And here is how you can do it. First off, I like to use eRank's keyword tool for my research. I start typing a related keyword that could describe my product. For instance, if I'm selling a little canvas bag like this one, I will type pencil bag and go from there. Once you find all relevant keywords that you would like to use on your listing, add them to your Notion template and also input the competition number and the number of Etsy searches for each keyword. When it comes to the search trend data, I typically stick with the most recent information available unless it's a seasonal product. And right here, the template will create a relationship between competition and demand for you. The lower the number, the better. For instance, when the number is less than one, it indicates that there are more people searching for that term than there are listings using that specific keyword. So go ahead and add at least 13 keywords to the template. And once finished, click on the competition demand column and choose to sort it in ascending order. This will display the keywords with the highest potential to rank at the top of the list. You can then use these top ranking keywords to craft a title for your listing and as you use them, check them off from the list. Below the title section, you will find a handy dandy character tracker that will let you know if you are exceeding the 140 character limit set by Etsy. Additionally, in the keyword research section, you can view the length of each keyword. If they are 20 characters or less, you can use them in the tag sections as is. But if they are over 20 characters, a warning will appear indicating that you will need to use that keyword in two parts if you want to add it to the tag section. Moving on, we have the product description template section. And there is a whole video showing you how to use this section, which is pretty mind-blowing. If you want to check out all the details of what this section can do for you, I will leave the link to that video below. After creating your product and listing photos, you can also change the cover photo of this page and add one of your listing photos to make it easier to identify. And once you are done with all the Etsy stuff and you hit publish, you can add the publication date of the listing here and change the status. This will move it to the section of published listings. In this section, you can view your published listings either as a list or a gallery sorted by month. And each listing is displayed with the cover photo you selected. Now the final part over here can help you to schedule all your listing ideas and make the magic happen. Let's say you have three ideas that are in progress. By assigning the days when you want them to go live, you will be able to view them on the calendar below as a monthly or weekly view. You can also easily plan your upcoming week or month by dragging each listing idea onto the calendar. This allows you to visualize all the products you will be working on and plan accordingly. If you have any idea or suggestion of what you would like to see in the template, just drop me a line in the comments below. I'm always open to add more features to make it even better. And if you want to snag the template for yourself, check out the link in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.